for signals from an alien civilization has been long ongoing, with radio telescopes around the world searching the sky for signals. However, new developments make it likely that if life is in our region of the galaxy, it will be found within this century. Why is this, and how will we do it? One of the earliest ideas of finding extraterrestrial life came in 1877, when Giovanni Schiaparelli described canals on Mars from his observations on Earth. Many astronomers believe that these canals were made by an intelligent race of Martians. Direct observation and visitation of Mars in the 20th century ruled out these claims, and by the modern day, any chance of finding life in the solar system would only be microbial. Some of the best candidates for places that microorganisms may exist elsewhere in the solar system are on Europa, Enceladus or Mars. Both Europa and Enceladus probably have deep underground oceans. It is possible that volcanic activity or tidal flexing could help to support life. However, to this day, no evidence of life anywhere else in the solar system has so far been determined. So if life is not found in the solar system, how else may we find aliens? Before looking outwards, it is possible that aliens have already found us. While not touching on the topic of UFO sightings, it is not impossible to imagine that an intelligent civilization would leave a satellite in orbit around the Earth. If it is small enough, at such as the size of a tennis ball, it may not be detected or noted. The purpose of one may simply be observation, or waiting for our civilization to advance enough to make contact. It should be noted that the 18 meter Chelyabinsk meteor was not detected until it entered the Earth's atmosphere, so an artificial object watching the Earth may not necessarily be found. Looking beyond our solar system for signs of life has been ongoing for over 50 years. In 1960, Project Ozma was conducted by Frank Drake. It was the first instance SETI searched for life with a radio telescope. While no signals were found on that day, a number of anomalies have arisen. The most famous is the WOW signal, where a signal 30 times stronger than deep space noise was detected at the Big Ear radio telescope. No strong evidence has ever been put forward to explain the signal. While this does not mean it is of an extraterrestrial origin, it does show that listening to what is out there with radio telescopes is a worthwhile endeavour. While we do not know what we may hear, we do know that given enough listening time, we can hear interesting things in the deep voids of space. The chances of picking up a signal via radio telescopes remains a mystery. Since we do not know if any other intelligent life exists, or has existed in the Milky Way galaxy, listening for life may be a matter of pointing the telescope at the right place in the right time, or it may be a matter of waiting for a signal that never comes. The last few decades have produced potentially a more efficient way of discovering life through telescopic evidence. By observing light coming from distant exoplanets, it may be possible to characterize their atmosphere if a distant world were to contain intelligent life, it would be possible that they would have a polluted atmosphere. This could be detected from Earth, and as our detection methods improve, the number of atmospheres checked for pollution will increase exponentially. This method could also be used to detect signs of microbial life capable of changing the atmosphere of their planet to produce a unique ratio of oxygen, nitrogen, and argon. This of course assumes that alien life breathes oxygen, and that the planet they are on contains all three of these elements in a considerable amount. Direct imaging of planets beyond the solar system may yield similar results. Exoplanets have already been imaged, the first being in 2004, called 2M1207b. Future telescopes may have enough power to show detailed images of these planets, and even reveal clear signatures of intelligent life. Finally, Dyson spheres could be detected through the dimming of a star. One star, 500 light years away, has already been suspected to have such a construction around it. That star is called Tabby's star, but the evidence is tenuous at best. You can see a video about the star here. If a Dyson sphere does exist in our galaxy, it would indicate that life can advance to high levels of technology, and a supposed great filter, a hypothetical barrier to intelligent life, is actually possible, and we are not doomed as a species to extinction. Another method of contacting aliens could be if they arrive here on Earth. The chances of this seem unlikely, but it cannot be ruled out. The small time that our civilization has existed means that the signs of intelligent life here on Earth may not yet be visible for most of the galaxy. Very few real plans have been drafted for an alien arrival, and many people believe that we should keep our radio signals out to space silent, in fear of contacting advanced extraterrestrial life. However, it may already be too late for this, as we already have broadcasted many radio signals into space. So what do you think will be the way we find alien life? if it does exist. Leave a comment below with your thoughts, and thanks for watching.